they didn't give us their cards. What's that? About clean coal? Yeah, yeah. They were actually speaking to us about. They said they, they couldn't tell us anything about it, but they were saying maybe December. <laughs> In December. Yeah. yeah. December but third. We're yeah. with a nonprofit group, obviously representing the coal industry, and we're around just asking people uh, what is very simple question. What's your idea of energy independence in terms of electricity? Mm -hmm. Well. I think realistically we're going to have to have uh, things that have to do with atomic energy, nuclear energy, Whoa. and uh, certainly we want to develop all the renewables that we can, but coal is going to be huge. Uh, you know, I, I'm not an expert in this area, but I do go to talks on this kind of thing, and coal is going to be huge. Jing Shu here is from China. You know, China is uh, one of our McDonald Academy scholars. Coal in China is, as you know, has become Net importer of coal this year is going to be bigger than the U.S. So yeah, yeah. We, are la we lack we lack a lot of energy resources. We're exploring new types of energy. Yeah. Maybe the general trend of the whole world. Zion here is a chemist. She actually knows about oh, this wow. stuff. So, uh, well, I, that's not my focus. China, but, but yeah. uh, wow. <laughs> So in terms of, so, so we're, we're on the topic of coal here, and we understand what role coal plays in China, which is a very important role. Um, what are your thoughts on uh, investment of technologies, clean coal technology, that will not only allow us to continue to produce electricity and meet demand affordably here in the United States, but in countries like China as well, which are obviously building uh, three to four new coal plants every every. Right. No, I mean, that's the trick. I think there are a lot of people, and there's some really good experts doing this in China now. Yeah. And we have our share, but the, the kind of um, CO2 sequestration, using the algal reactors to put CO2 in those, making, you know, new biomass, all these things are just huge cutting edge things. So something, yeah, we got to read again with that. But I know there are very good people in China doing this. Right. Um, well, I graduated from Peking University, and in the lab that I used to work in, my previous advisor just um, got a patent and sold it for a million dollars. They did um, uh, the synthetic gas um, in water, so that's very green chemistry. And he's among top scientists. A green chemistry, uh, energy, green energy like scientists in China. So there are, yeah, there are a couple, uh, there are a lot. Okay. She's going to be a famous clean coal person in the future, too. Probably. That's not yeah. a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.